Hello and welcome to Let's Create Something. My name is Michael and this tutorial's topic is creating a Wolverine logo using live mirroring in AI. And of course, this will work with anything else symmetrical you have in mind too. As there is no native live mirroring tool in Illustrator yet, we have to use a little workaround. Create a rectangle bigger than your artboard. Make sure it has no fill. Center it to your artboard by clicking the align icon then choose Align to Artboard and finally click the Horizontally Align icon. This rectangle will define the outer bounds of our symmetry layer. Its center will be our mirror axis. Look out for your Appearance window and tear it off the bar. Do the same for your Layers window. Renaming the layer is up to you, but for overview reasons I recommend naming it Symmetry. Click the circle on the right of your symmetry layer and see in the appearance window how your active selection changed from path to layer, confirming that all following effects will be applied to the whole layer. From the main menu, choose Effect, then Distort and Transform, and finally click on Transform. Select Reflect X and enter 1 in number of copies. You can do all kinds of weird spirograph style things with this if you experiment with the settings. But for this project we just want live X reflection, so hit OK. You now see the effect in the appearance window. So if you messed up or want to change something, just click it and the setting will appear again. Let's create a guiding line for our mirror axis. Add a new layer and name it Center. Draw a line across the whole artboard and center it. Then lock the layer. Last but not least, create another layer for shapes that shall not be mirrored. I name mine Other. Let's test our setup by throwing in some shapes on the symmetry layer. As you can see, the mirrored half will be updated every time you let loose of the mouse button. To convert your mirrored instances to editable shapes, just select your layer and go to the object menu where you click on Expand Appearance. As you can see, the effect has appeared from the appearance window, because expanding appearance kind of bakes the effect into the layer. Ungroup everything by hitting Ctrl Shift G a couple of times and you got yourself separate shapes. Unfortunately, our symmetry setup is gone too. What I do to avoid recreating it over and over again is duplicating the layer before expanding it. Let's go back to our working symmetry setup and talk about the two major pitfalls you should be aware of. Number one is, never cross the bounds of your symmetry rectangle. This will displace the mirror axis and mess everything up. If it happens, don't worry, just undo and everything works again. Pitfall number two is, never select and delete a mirrored instance. Those instances aren't individual objects yet. If you do so, it will delete the bounding rectangle too and your whole setup is gone. To avoid it, I recommend that you pick a favorite side, left or right, and stick to drawing only on that one, so you can easily rectangle select them all without accidentally selecting a mirrored instance. Let's start drawing Wolverine's mask. I like turning smart guides on to help me match the positions of my points. It's always good to remember the shortcut Ctrl U for toggling smart guides on and off. Being on my symmetry layer, I use the pen tool to create a base shape. To refine it, I switch to the direct selection tool and select the corner points I want to be rounded. Click and drag the circular rounding controller until you are happy with the look. Now I switch to the other layer and use the ellipse tool to create the upper half of the head. Snip to the center line, click and start dragging, then hold down Alt to create the ellipse centered to your initial click position. Let go of the mouse button when you like what you see. To finish the upper half of the head, I use the rectangle tool and smart guide snapping to fill the nose gap. Next up is creating the lower half. Select the ellipse from the top half, hold down Alt then click and start dragging. While doing so, additionally hold down Shift to access constrain your movement. Let loose when you like what you see. As it is the chin area, give it some skin tone color. 
Now I'm using the rectangle tool and smart guide snapping again to finish up the shape. Combine the skin colored objects into one shape by opening the pathfinder and click the unify button. Finally right click the object and choose arrange and then send to back. If you are new to Illustrator, the shortcuts to the arrange functions are something you really should get into your head. Let's go back to the symmetry layer to finish the mask. Start with the inner line where the mask covers the cheeks and the chin area. Roughly finish the shape outside the skin area. Click the skin shape, duplicate it by hitting Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Go to the layers window and drag the little square up to your symmetry layer. Finally select the overlapping mask shape together with the duplicated skin shape and click intersect at the pathfinder window. The following process of the illustration is just a repetition of what you learned so far. So lean back and hopefully enjoy. Last but not least, I duplicate the layer by dragging it onto the new layer icon to have a backup of my symmetry setup. After that, I go to the object menu and click Expand Appearance to convert my mirrored instances to individual shapes. That's it! We just created a simple geometrical Wolverine logo. Because you watched it all until the end, here's a little giveaway for you. Under this URL, you'll find the symmetry template and the Wolverine logo free for you to use and modify. That was creating a Wolverine logo using live mirroring in AI. I hope you had a good time and learned something new today. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. Have a great day, thanks for watching and happy illustrating!